Welcome back to Sophia's Art Supply Review. I'm quite excited about today's video since I would be reviewing a newly launched Brustro product. Since this is not a sponsored video, you can be rest assured that all the views and opinions expressed here are completely honest and unbiased. This is the Brustro Professional Artist Watercolor Half Pan Set of 24, which was officially launched on 18th May and is made available to be purchased online exclusively from their official website www.creativehands.in. This means that this set is not yet available to be purchased anywhere else as of now. The launch price of this product is Rs 2499 and the customers who purchased it during the launch week also received a free Brustro Kolinsky imitation round brush of size 6 worth Rs 549. The official launch of this product happened on Instagram and there were a lot of viewers who pointed out that the price of this product was unreasonably high. So in this video, I will not only unbox the product and test out the paints, but also compare it with the other contenders to check if the price is justified. Let's begin. The outer packaging of this set is made of thick cardstock paper. The Brustro and Creative Hands logo are prominently placed on top along with the USPs of this product. What's worthy to be noted is the fact that this set is made in Korea. They've also mentioned that the colors are archival, highly pigmented, transparent, vivid and have excellent light fastness. When you flip over, you see the swatches of the colors that are inside the box with their color name, series number, transparency, light fastness and the pigments used in each color. At the first glance, barring a few colors, almost all of these show high transparency and high light fastness. All these colors are series A, indicating high pigment quality. And there are many colors here that are either single pigment or double pigment, which works great, especially when you're trying to mix colors and want to avoid creating mud. A very interesting feature to note is that there is no white in the box, and this makes me so happy. Now, any serious watercolorist knows that if you need white in the painting, you need to plan in advance and leave those areas paint-free so that the white of the paper reflects through. But despite this well-acknowledged fact, every single set of watercolor that I have bought has always contained white in it, which has consistently been left untouched by me. But I'm so happy to see that Brustro has broken away from these conventional norms and has decided to do away with the white completely. The outer surface of this box is painted black with a Brustro sticker on it. It would have been great if this branding would have been inscribed on the box either as an etching or with paint. On the bottom of the box, there is a metal ring. The purpose of this ring is for you to slip your finger in and effectively use this as a palette for plein air painting. The box is approximately 22 cm into 8 cm and is about 2.5 cm thick. When you open up the box, you see a DIY swatch card printed on Brustro 100% cotton cold press paper. Now this is such a thoughtful extra to add to the set. If you see here, for every paint box that I own, I make a swatch card for easy reference and these are usually cut to the size of the box so I may just slip this into the box itself. Having a pre-cut swatch card is such a bonus for me. The box opens into a spacious two-fold palette. There are 10 grooves on one side and 5 grooves on the other. In the center, the 24 pans are laid out with a convenient slot to hold the brush. The pans are removable, but they are well secured within these metal clasps, so even if you turn the box over, the pans would not slip off. And the reason why I'm highlighting this aspect is that when I bought the Vincent Newton paints, I had to actually glue the pans onto the box to prevent it from constantly lifting off. Additionally, this metal tray can be taken out completely, which is great if you're looking for additional space to mix paints or just want to deep clean your box. So far, the Brustro Professional Half Pan set has ticked all the right boxes. But the real test is, how good are the colors? Are they really highly pigmented, vivid and vibrant as they claim to be? Let's check them out. I have added few additional details on the swatch card like the transparency, light fastness and pigment names for easy reference. I'm going to begin the swatch test by gently misting the pan using a spray bottle to activate the pigments. 
one can visibly see that the pigments have exploded into colors with the light misting. The colors lift easily off the pan with a gentle touch of the brush and that's such a great thing since I've seen many fine brushes getting ruined due to the need for aggressive rubbing against these tiny half pans. The colors appear to be rich in pigment content. They're extremely vivid and vibrant. The color selection is also really good. The variety of reds and greens in this set would make it any floral artist's delight. There are a couple of very interesting unconventional colors like the light pink named Opera, which also happens to be the only color with low light fastness, so I would be cautious about overusing this. And there is also a light gray called the French gray, which I'm assuming has been added to pacify those artists who did use the white in the box to build their grays. Overall, this seems to be a very promising set and I'm quite excited to test it out in a sketch. The choices of colors in this box opens up a possibility of a wide variety of subjects. For this specific subject, all the colors that I needed were already available in the box, yet I couldn't resist the temptation to mix up a few and it works really great. The colors mix beautifully on wet paper, creating some really amazing hues which is a true indicator of a good set of watercolors. The Kolinsky imitation brush that came with the set also shows superior performance with good water holding capacity and bristles that retain a fine tip. Undoubtedly, the Brustro Professional Half Pan Set to 24 a good artist grade watercolor set to have. They have great packaging, the metal box is sturdy and of good quality, the color selection is good and the pigments are definitely vivid, bright and vibrant. But priced at Rs 2499 is it also economical? Let's compare it with the other similar products which are available in the market to see if the price is justified. To simplify the comparison, I am only going to consider sets that are available in metal boxes and contain either 24 colors or very close. These are the products in a grid format arranged in an ascending order based on their prices. The cheapest watercolor metal pan available is the Itsy Bitsy Professional Half Pan Set of 24, priced at Rs. 1,999. Next up is the Sonnet Metal Full Pan Set by Nevskaya Palitra, which although is pitched as a student-grade paint, but can give any professional-grade paint a run for its money. I truly believe that this product is a dark horse. Priced at Rs 1,995 for a set of 21 full pan colors, this is such a steal for artists who are looking for good pigment quality in a portable metal box. And third on the grid is this newly launched Brustro set at Rs 2,499, with the nearest contender being the Mangio Professional Half Pan at Rs 2,999. All other sets in the grid although belong to reputed international brands with undoubtedly superb pigment quality definitely promises to burn a hole in your pockets. While Brustro is not the cheapest watercolor metal pan which is available in the market, yet I feel that their price point is quite justified especially when you compare it with the other similar products that are available in the market. This Made in Korea set has very intelligent color choices, a good design, superior pigment quality and definitely a good buy for any serious watercolor artist. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.